edition of exposing false teachers, false prophets, and every false wicked worker there is. Let me tell you something. I will never get along with someone who doesn't know uh, uh, that goes against God's word. Scripture says in Amos 3, 3, can two walk together lest they agree? Heck no. So this old JP Upcut guy up there is trying to, uh, and just so everyone knows, homeboy's been running from me for a long time. In fact, he always tried to put me in the back. He always running. He always, <laughs> I mean, this dude right here is a runner. You know what I'm saying? But he's trying to bring people together, as he says. He's trying to bring, but unfortunately, you can't bring people together who don't agree on doctrine, you fool. So it's going to be a big old foolish debate, talk, trying to trying to, trying to to win something. Man, you ain't doing nothing. All you ain't doing is ganging up on uh, Marcus Rogers and that old, old other fool up there, Corey Minor. Who believes in one saved, always say Trinity. I mean, they all believe in Trinity, but Marcus Rogers. You know, I'm not, you know, one thing about Marcus Rogers, man, if he got rid of his first wife and got rid of all his rap crap and went back to the uh, 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 to the word of God that he uh, looks like he's doing, you know, goes back to his first wife and first family because he's divorced and remarried. It's his third time uh, with another woman. I would be on his side. All right, but he is so weak. He can't even stand up for God being one, you know. Uh, he want to get along to get along. I mean, this, this, these are the type of people they bring it on there so they can agree with a doctrine. Listen, I would never agree with the doctrine of the Trinity. It comes from the Catholics. It never came from God's word. In fact, let me show you that. Because they say, Kurt, you can do is Google it. The first defense of the doctrine of the Trinity was in the third century by the early church father, Tertullian. Let me tell you something, man. If you in church fathers, crazy stuff, early church father stuff, and you in that old Greek and this Greek changing words from the word of God, you ain't in the word. Uh, you ain't of God. I'm going to just be real with you. God said if you try to change. his theology so it's a theology thing against praxis though he noted look at it though he noted that the majority of the believers in his day found issue with his doctrine so it comes from him this trinity it never came from god and if it ain't come from god The Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, and God is holy, and God is a spirit, and Jesus is that spirit because He's holy and He is a spirit. I mean, this ain't hard to understand. I don't understand why people will try to make three gods. I bet you when you baptize them, you ain't baptizing them in three gods, are you? I mean, this is a foolish doctrine, man. And we're gonna hear these fools over here trying to explain it with their logical and smart, educated minds. When all the apostles were unlearned men. Again, you will never see three persons in the word of God. Can no, can be found nowhere from the Old Testament to the New Testament. God said, I made everything alone. I mean, this is crazy to me. You know, uh, uh, look what it says at the bottom here, that New Testament 2.2. The New Testament contains no explicit Trinity doctrine. It's, look what it says with a highlight. It can't be feared from the Bible alone, but also that there's an adequate or no evidence for it there. And even that what is taught in the Bible is incomplete. <laughs> The Christian churches, they have changed the baptism formula from Jesus Christ to Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. It was only done in Jesus Christ alone. 
And these people, if you've been baptized in Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you have been baptized wrong, and you need to take on the only name that can save you. A simple Google will help you figure this out. You say, Kurt, why are you bringing up baptism? Because they, the Trinity, they don't believe in baptizing in Jesus Christ's name. They got that antichrist spirit in them. They got to baptize them in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, which no one was baptized under. But just to show you, it was changed by the Catholics to rob you of the Holy Ghost, God's spirit, a.k.a. Christ, Jesus Christ's spirit. Did you know that God is a spirit? And if Jesus is God, it says in John 4, 24, that God is a spirit. Learn what you're talking about. Man, these people don't, uh, 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 shouldn't be teachers or nothing. Man, I suggest every one of y'all look at this, these uh, verses. Look them up. The Holy Ghost is Jesus. Look it up. Matthew 1, 20. John 14, 17, 26. Romans chapter 8, verse 9. 1 Peter 1, verse 11. There ain't two spirits. There's only one spirit, and it's the spirit of God. And that same spirit of God, that one God spirit, is Jesus Christ. They're lying to y'all. 2 Corinthians 3, 17. Philippians 1, 19. Look it up. You say, Kurt, he's not the father either. Liars. John 14, 17. Jesus called himself Father God. Look up Isaiah 9, 6, where it calls him the mighty God and the everlasting fire, Father. Look up John 5, 43, look, uh, where Jesus said, I come in my Father's name. Look up John 17, 6, where it says, specifically, I have manifested thy name unto people. Look up uh, John 17, 25. I mean, verse 26, and I have declared Man, that's the only God you're going to see in heaven. That's the same judgment seat. Look what it says here, John 5, 22. For the Father judgeth no man. The invisible spirit of God judgeth no man, but have committed all judgment unto the Son. Why is that? Because God lives, the invisible spirit of God lives in Jesus. That's who you're going to see, the body in the image of the invisible God. Only God going to judge on judgment day. And guess what it say here? To judgment seat, not seats, seats in heaven, you bunch of fools, seat of Christ. That everyone may receive the things done in his body according to two that he have done, whether it be good or bad. That's for all you lukewarm Christians out there that think you can just live in sin and party it on up. And you going. And a bunch of you, you on the way to hell. God said he's going to judge everything. Look what it said, the judgment seat of Christ. All must appear. Scripture says all must appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Now we're about to go into all this nonsense. JP, we done made him get rid of his little uh, doll that he had up there. You know what I'm saying? No, he no longer has his little doll because he's ashamed because we done shamed him. He's got a lot of insecurity problems. And look at all these men with hats on. I don't understand that, you know. And, and, and if you see anybody with books in their background, ladies and gentlemen, run for the hills. Run for the hills. Don't listen to a word they say. 
God is not with him. I don't need to look smart to think I know the Holy Scriptures. That's ridiculous to me. That's an that's a insecurity problem. All right? Now, homeboy JP is trying to, uh, uh, who has snaked all his friends. I want to make that very clear to everyone. And that runs from me. Well, he, not to debate Kurt, telling them to run from me. He telling everybody that Kurt got a mental illness. <laughs> yeah, JP, you think I ain't know that, huh? I know more people than you think I know. Let's show you. In case you say, Kurt, you made that up. I just fully in a uh, 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 people that believe that Jesus Christ is God, these Trinitarians. They so they think they know everything, right? But when you come on with me, you better know what you're talking about. When you come on with me, you ain't going to be bullying this one. <laughs> you got another thing coming. So that's why they run from me. Scripture says uh, uh, they run from the, when a righteous man chased them down. Boy, they run. Let me show you. Let's just go ahead and eye down some of these uh, 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 lies homeboy told on me. In the past, but I don't remember where. Yeah, you do. We've been debating ever since Dory Love, you little liar. Thank you for that. I want to debate him, but need a moderator. I ain't never in my life need a moderator. When you need a moderator, you soft. Because Jesus ain't need no moderator, and neither did the apostles. I don't need some other man that's against me to try to, to do a two-on-one little battle on me. You know what I'm saying? I don't need none of that. Come, come, man. Just bring, all I need is me, myself, and the word. That's all I need. I can set that up on a praise channel. I would never come on your channel if you paid me. Yes, when you think I should do it, a lot of people don't know me. Yeah, nobody really know you, but uh, I don't mind because you're trying to lead people to hell and people let me know what's going on because I'm everywhere. If you didn't know, a lot of these people y'all talking to are asking me questions and we answering them. Just get him to accept. Man, I would never accept such a foolishness debate. Put it on somebody else's channel. <laughs> yeah, right. We try to get everything on our channel. You know why? So they don't run. So they don't. So they uh, uh 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 don't try to do a three or four on one kind of thing, right? Because they can't stand on their own when it comes to me. They always run. In fact, I'm having a hard time to, uh, getting people to debate now. You know, ever since they starting to know my name and everything, right? Which they should. They should run. But uh yeah, man, it, it be it's hard. They gotta not know me. You know. Yes, he is calling me out. I recently lost my job at Comcast, so I've been interviewing last couple of weeks of new gears. All right, well, maybe you need to stop being a, a, a little meanie at the job and start doing what your boss tell you to do. Maybe you, you still have a job. But look what it says here. Also, I've been told that Kurt is mentally ill. <laughs> Boy, there's something wrong with people, man. They just be sitting there lying on you to get you away from uh, 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 debating them. And have been advised to get a moderator for the debate. You know why they tell you to get a moderator for the debate? Because you ain't got no chance in the world to bring that lying doctrine over here. And I'm going to accept it. I'm going to chase you around with the word of God. My, my friend never got back to you. You right about that. Because uh, I won't accept it anyway. I want to let you know. You don't need no, I don't need no moderator. You just need to be a man and, and, and stand on what you believe. I mean, you try to debate, you try to, you try to debate me. Now, all of a sudden, you're running. You know what I'm saying? Because you got a couple of friends that don't like Kurt and trying to keep you away from Kurt. So I'm embarrassing you in that Trinity doctrine because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to embarrass every single one of y'all that lie on God's word. I'm going to chase you around with the word. You're going to find me one God, three people, or you're going to stop telling people that lie. But just to show you, homeboy up there is running from me. And so are the, uh, 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 these other people. I don't know most of these other people. Mike Second Island, we already warned him. Marcus Rodgers, we warned him in his door voice and marriage. Corey Minor has been running from me, boy. I've been trying to get him in the debate for the last year or two. He always talking about, yeah, I put it out there. And then we put it out there and see me. Boy, he done blocked me and got rid of me and all this other stuff. Boy, these people run runners, man. I don't understand how they could be of God and they run. But let's get into this conversation, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, if your pastor runs from a debate, he ain't really confident what they believe in. Let's just be real. You know what I'm saying? 
I could de I debate a purple down. I debate Satan himself, who know the word of God like the back of his hand. Guess what? When you know the word of God and God is with you, who dare be against you, man? This blasphemy to tell people there's one God and three people. And when no apostle, no prophet ever said that, these guys are liars. They shouldn't be teaching nothing. They're going to end up in hell. And I would never come in agreement with none of them. Person, you know, filled with the Holy Spirit. I think if we ask everybody, I would just be interested, like, what do you guys think we're going to see in heaven? Are we going to see three or are we going to Holy Spirit? I think if we ask everybody, I would just be interested, like, what do you guys think we're going to see in heaven? Are we going to see three? Are we going to see two? Yeah, or uh, you one? know, the thing is, that's, we're, that's we're, what I would want to know. Marcus, I would say that I'm not in that realm. But right. Why can't they answer that question? I mean, that's what you believe. One God, three people, three persons. You're going to see three people in heaven. The Holy Spirit's one person. The the uh, God is another person. And then we got, uh, the whole, uh, uh, we got Jesus Christ, another person, sitting on a one throne. Can you imagine that? Blasphemy, man blasphemy you know what these trinity doctrine does it lowers the value of christ being god it's evil my name is then Corey. you're you're a Greek scholar anything you want to say about this in regard to <laughs> scholar i let i man i i drool at getting me a biblical scholar get me one of these smart people that's been in the college biblical uh, 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 schools just give me one of them please i love to get these people in debates because they always trying to change the word of God. They don't know the word of God. They start using this hermeneutics crap. And they start using, which is some Hermes God that it came from. They start using their theology and philosophy and ideology and all this other crazy mess. They start going to the Greek, the ancient Greek, like they, can, they can't even read Greek. And now all of a sudden they're going to try to teach me on Greek. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it, it's ridiculous, man. I love to get these people in debates, man. I know the word of God like I know the back of my hand, and I'm willing to debate anybody, anytime on the Trinity, divorce and remarriage, many other uh, devil doctrines that's going out there. Salvation issues. This is a salvation issue, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus said, if you don't believe in what I say I am, you will die in your sins. And I remember Jesus saying, when you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Yeah, let me yeah. Help me out because I'm trying to share this screen. Am I doing this right? Oh, no, bro. I don't like helping you. No, no, no. Not again. We're going to be here a long time. Mark, can, you uh, ask, you know, can you share your screen and we'll tell? We'll tell. While, while you're doing that, let me just, just clear something up with Marcus. Yeah, radar, share the screen and you'll tell him where to go, Corey. Does that work? Okay. Oh, yeah, you know what? Perfect. That's, that, that works. That works. Matter of fact, I can go back at, back to my uh, you guys, vocab. Call me a DJ with Bible software. So. Okay. Uh, you guys, uh, New Covenant, Old Covenant, where are we going? DJ Rabbi, go, I need you to pull up uh, first, go to uh, Colossians 2 9. Something that, that, and this is, I've, I've, I've had, and I'm not. Okay, this is what they're trying to explain so everyone understands. Uh, they are trying to say that there are three in the Godhead. Now he's going to try to change the word in, in Colossians 2 9 because it says Christ is the fullness of the Godhead. So now he's gonna go to his own philosophy. He's gonna use he's gonna use the Greek well the Greek word don't say that. I mean, when it was put together by fifty two of the best ancient Greek scholars there is. And, 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 and when you try to change the word of God, like I told y'all before, man, you are cursing yourself. Trying to make uh, our, our private conversations uh everyone privy to them, but this is something that I, that I brought up with Marcus. That you don't have the right, you do as a layperson. But you don't have the right as a pastor to punt and say um, that these aren't a heaven and hell issue because you're a pastor. You stepped into that position. And so if you're not willing to explain to us and to your to your to your congregation, you cannot be a pastor. You should not be a pastor. That is just the requirement. That's 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 the job qualification. You can't say first of all, he's in the NASB, all right? Uh, NSAB. So of course there's gonna be all kinds of errors in this mess stay in the king james version ladies and gentlemen they these people are going to take away words they're going to try to change the word of god on you they're going to take out actual verses and actual chapters because of these corrupt people that put these bibles back into the uh, uh these these evil corrupt translations in there just stick to the king james version i ain't never once had to go to the greek the old hebrew language i ain't never had to do none of that all I had to do was just understand what the word of God trying to tell me through Jesus Christ. 
Jesus scripture says that the Holy Spirit should lead you and teach you all things. You say, Kerr, you made that up. John 14, 26. Listen up. God Almighty Father speaking. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. Let me make that very clear to everyone. They say, Kerr, that's two right there. Whom the Father will send in my my name, the Holy Ghost, is the name of Jesus Christ, you fools. When my spirit is aligned with God's spirit, the Holy Ghost is Christ's spirit. These are things these people would never understand because they sow into their smarty arty stuff. He shall teach you all things. It is God's spirit who teaches me all things. Not some man, not some uh, uh, Hebrew and old Greek. He shall teach you all things. And bring all things to your remembrance. Whatever I have said unto you. You say, Kurt, you arrogant and prideful. You mean to tell me you have mixed pride with boldness and confidence? I'm confident in what I believe in. Doesn't make me prideful. In fact, you're talking to one of the most selfless, humblest men there is. You just don't know me. Scripture says, lift up your voice like a trumpet. And show my people their sins. Don't judge me off my voice being loud and, and authoritative. A lot of people do that. You're bearing false witness. You don't know me to say that. Be careful. So we're going to sit here for like 30 minutes talking about greed. Just so you know. That is just the requirement. That's, that's, that's the job qualification. You can't say, I want to be a football player, but I don't want to touch the ball. I don't want to wear a helmet. That's just kind of how it goes. And so, I mean, this is what these biblical scholars do. They just start going into an, 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 uh, what is it? Uh, uh, analogies to try to describe certain things, ladies and gentlemen. Instead of just going with the text says, for in him, Jesus, all the fullness of the Godhead, well, it says deity here in NSAB. Uh, let me go to the King James Version to show you the truth. Let's start a verse. Sanctify them through the truth. Thy Kurt, you made that up again. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, say the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Fool. So I apologize. This fool, you need to change the word of God. You're going to burn in hell for that. See, he. I unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues. That are written in this book. If any man add. Now let's see if someone takes away. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy. God shall take away his part 
out of the book of life. Take away the words of God and change them into your own. You're taking yourself and erasing yourself out of the book of life and out of the holy city, which is heaven, and from things which are written in this book. God said, not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Jesus, of, of Christ. There are going to be some that are going to try to pervert the, the gospel of Christ to try to change it into their own meanings and own thinkings. If only Marcus Rogers had some coconuts. Galatians 1 8. For though we or any other angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Let him be accursed. So these people don't take God seriously because God said if you add or take away, God is going to take your, your name out of the book of life. A race. I don't care what you've done. I don't care in your mind what God told you. Well, you know, I'm a pastor my whole life. God, let me in. You are taking your name out of the word of God. Stay out of the NSAB. Talk about a bunch of lies. Let me show you. Jesus lied. Blatant NSAB error exposed. Look what it says. Wake up. Why don't y'all wake up? Stop letting these people use everything but the King James Version. Trying to change words and trying to change what God said. In, for in Jesus, all the fullness of the Godhead dwells in bodily form. Let me show you this. Colossians 2, 9, for in him of the God bodily. Trying to change word. Do you know why they're trying to change that word? Because it ruins that there's one God, three people in the Godhead. That's why they're trying to change it. So we're going to hear a whole bunch of nothing here. Y'all ready? Well, guess what else is not there? Virtually every other word that you would use in English, but guess what else is not there? Neither is the word Godhead. That's not in the Bible. The word says this this word. Liar. Colossians 2 9, for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Liar. And ladies and gentlemen, where there is one lie, there is many. Godhead. That's not in the Bible. The word says this, this like the Trinity. Well, guess what else is not there? Virtually every other word that you would use in English, but guess what else is not there? Neither is the word Godhead. That's not in the Bible. The word says this this word uh pleroma tes theotetas. That is the fullness. Boy, I wish that lie would tell me that. We would make him lick that up so quick. Of deity. And so even to use the word Godhead, that's not in the scriptures. It's trying to present a concept. And so what translators do is they try to give to us a way that we can understand it, such as a training. We're not bound by the <laughs> If he only knew the, the, the ESV and the NSAB that he's going to came out in the 1900s and the King James Version came out in the 1600s, uh, one of the first translations from Hebrew, Aramaic, and Old Greek, and it took seven years to compile. These are corrupt versions. You say, Kurt, no, it's not. Okay, let me show you something. You know, the crazy part about this is this is all public information. NIV was published by Zandervall, but is now owned by Harper's Collins, who has also published the Satanic Bible and the Joy of Gay Sex. The NIV and ESV has removed 64,575 words from the Bible, including Jehovah, Calvary, Holy Ghost, and potent to the name, but a few. And look at the scriptures they take out. Try and find these scriptures in the NIV, ESV on your computer. 
Matthew 17, 21, Matthew 18, 11, Matthew 23, 14, Mark 7, 16, Mark 9, 44, 9, Mark 9, 46, important verses that can save your life. Acts 37, where they got baptized in the water. John chapter 5, verse 4, Luke 13, uh, uh, 17, 36, Luke 23, 17, find these scriptures, find them. Using the ESV talking about acting like he's smart and know what he's talking about. Boy, God, Paul said, I have to be a fool uh, to understand what God is saying. I mean, he had to become a fool to become wise. And that's what these men need to do. They need to just become fools so God can teach them. And until then, using their own smarts and own Google, what Google say, you're going to get this type of stuff. Leading you away from what God's word says. These are cursed people. By the word Trinity, because no one in the Bible actually uses that word. But knowing that Jesus is God, the Holy Spirit is God, obviously God is God, and they are co-eternal and of the same. Think about this for a second. They say Jesus Christ is God. Is he Father God? No. Well, then he's not God, fool, if he's not Father God. It's a clear contradiction, ladies and gentlemen. Substance. Well, then that's what we want to be able to teach. And then if you could, Radar, go to uh, Ephesians 4, 11, and then to First First Timothy 3. This is what this is what is it what is vital um, for everyone who is going to lead, who is going to teach, especially someone who's going to pastor. In this passage, we have this, and I and I, I've been trying to. I, this is what I'm trying to convey to people about what's called the people say it's the fivefold ministry. It's really the four because we have one definite article per noun, except when we get to pastor teacher or shepherd teacher or manas. Um, tus pomenas kai didaskalas, which is the pastor or the shepherd teacher. Implicit in what you are as a pastor has to be a teacher. So you're shepherding people. This is, as we talked about earlier. No, duh. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to know that a pastor is a teacher or a shepherd or evangelist or whatever you want to call yourself, an apostle, whatever, whatever God made you. No, duh. Tell me something we don't want to, uh, don't know. But you trying to teach and you, and you know, you need to take your own advice. If you're going to be a pastor and teacher, why are you taking things away from what God's word says? Because it doesn't align with what you believe. Cursed people. Giving out people, you know, marriage, uh, marrying people, baptizing, going to funerals, seeing people, dealing with folks, with folks who may have had a loss. That's the shepherding, making sure that they are growing in the grace and the knowledge. But then also they have to teach. And so if you go to 1 Timothy 3. Oh, let's, let's not pass over that. Hold on a second. Folks let's who may have had a loss. That's the shepherding, making sure that they are growing in the grace and the knowledge. But you got you to you uh, promote people. You know what I'm saying? Probably getting money from here. Chef, follow their your, uh, uh, to go fund me too so you can send them some money. It's, uh, these people would not, most of these people here would not be preaching. I don't want to say all because I don't know the guy in the middle. Mo and the guy at the bottom too. Most of these people wouldn't be preaching nothing if they wouldn't get paid for the gospel. Sad. Jesus said, freely you have given and freely, I'm sorry, freely you have received and freely you shall give. When you charge and make a profit off God's word, you are doing the opposite of what God commanded. You will never see it to go fund me on my account, begging for money, shaking the can I, uh, uh, for a uh, 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 for, for the gospel. The gospel's free and any questions you need at any time, 24-7, Kurt is available. And also, they have to teach. And so if you go to 1 Timothy 3, uh, 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 Rabbi, go to 1 Timothy 3. I'm sorry, I didn't see him. Told you, I'm a DJ, bro. I'm a he called him Rabbi. Jesus said, don't call no man Rabbi, Master. DJ oh, for this here. stuff, man. I'm sorry. He must be above reproach, <laughs> the husband of one wife. Keep, keep scrolling for me. Uh, Sober-minded. Look what he says. Must be able to teach. I'm, I'm going to be real with y'all, man. I don't even take people serious with hats on. <laughs> you know, I'm just being real with you. You know why? Let me show you this. They're secure about their hairlines instead of worrying about what God said. And you think these people are of God and they can't, they can't obey the simplest of the scriptures? For a man indeed ought not to cover his head. For as much as he is the image and the glory of God, but the woman is the glory of the man. This ain't, this ain't hard. This ain't rocket scientists. You do not cover your head. God is speaking. 
teach. The job of the pastor is to teach. And so what you cannot do, Marcus, is you can't punt and say, these aren't words that are found in the Bible. I'm not going to bicker over words. They're not a heaven hell issue. You've got to be able to answer the question because if I ask you, again, uh, the Bible says that you must be ready to give a defense of the hope that's in you. Relate. All right, I agree with that. I agree. Marcus Rogers is a little weakling. You know, come tell me that. i answer your question for you. Yeah, the Trinity's not in the Word of God. It's of the devil. We don't believe in one God or three people. There's no scripture that says that. And I'm still, I've been looking for it for the last six or seven years. And I still haven't found it. And we chase people around. Hey, find that scripture. One God, three people. I mean, you believe it. Find it. And never can they ever find it. It's a made up fairy tale. That's why. To your doctor, if someone in your church asked you that question, heaven forbid you wouldn't say, well, these aren't words. It's not that important. They are important because these are things people are talking about. And so if you are not qualified or ready to cover those things, that's fine. You just should not be pastoring. I would say that to anybody. If you are, not doesn't mean that you can answer every question, but this is a big topic. This is a huge but, topic. But you're, not, but you're not answering the question. Nowhere did Jesus say, right? You have to use the word Trinity to define someone's salvation. Jesus said, you must be born again. That is the hell. Oh, Marcus, stop being a little weakling. Why don't you just tell him, bro? There is no Trinity in the Word of God. There's only one God, and his name is the Lord Jesus Christ. Stop letting these fools push you around because you want to be liked or scared. I don't remember Pastor Paul or Jesus being scared to answer People are so worried about being hated. Man, I'm hated everywhere I go. What do I care? That's what Jesus and the apostles were, hated everywhere they went because they went around and told them, Hey, who art thou, Lord? I am Jesus. Who thou persecute? Telling everyone that. Say, I saw Jesus standing on the right hand, the power of God. I saw Jesus standing on the throne. Stephen said, I command my spirit unto Jesus. Galatians 1.10. For do now I persuade men or God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of of Christ. So that little Corey Miner is right. He needs to stop being a little weakling and stop letting these guys push him around. It is a salvation issue. Telling people it's not a salvation issue. It's blasphemy and it's pagan to tell somebody there's one God, three people, and it ain't even in the Holy Scriptures. It's a lie. More than and God said all liars go to hell. All unbelievers go to hell. If you cannot believe what Jesus Christ called himself father god before abraham was i am they picked up stones to kill him because they knew what that meant he was father god in flesh claiming to be that in flesh not only that when he was uh he said he said i my father are one they jews knew what that meant because they knew that meant that he was claiming to be god the father and guess what happened they picked up stones to try to kill him for blasphemy because man can't be god and which they didn't know that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself. A.K.A. the Son of God. A.K.A. God manifested in the flesh. These people shouldn't be preaching or teaching nothing. It is God who... And we back everything up with Holy Scriptures. We don't sit there and try to change the word of God because it doesn't align with our faith. No, we got to humble ourselves and say, you know what? I'm wrong. You're right. Because you brought up the scriptures that said that born again that is the heaven or hell issue everybody on here has taught something wrong at some point i don't understand why you're saying uh, the godhead is not in the bible it's in colossians 2 9 are you saying that the bible we have made a mistake no i'm saying the word godhead the word the literally the word god and head is not there we have there you go marcus you know i, I and, and let me tell you something kurt don't stand with no marcus rogers but he got so he knows some truths but so does satan he's divorced and remarried three times he's on the way to hell he doesn't even know it He's chasing after his lust like a little bunny, humping house to house, making kids with different mothers and everything else, destroying families and destroying uh, bloodlines. The devil has him in adultery on the way to hell. So we don't stand with no Marcus Rodgers and he with that rap crap trying to bring gangster rap Christian music into the church. Oh, you come bringing that Christian rap crap down here. And we'll send it right off the stage. I'm telling you, we will escort you out of here. You bring the world 
into a worldly venue. You don't bring the world into the church. The church is meant for the word of God, not for your rapping skills and everything, all that other crazy crap that's going on. 8,000, which is deity. So I'm, that's what I'm asking you in Colossians 2, 9, where it says, for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. You're just saying that's just a wrong word. We got to go. No, uh, no. Yeah, Listen, Corey, what Corey's we, saying, let me see if I can translate. That's exactly uh, what Corey's so saying. That's exactly what Corey's saying. In Thalatos, which is the word for, that is translated as Godhead, is root. I mean, when you start... When you got again, you got books in your. I don't even take you seriously. They gonna go to Greek to try to change words. Can you imagine that? Like they didn't. Like fifty two of the best scholars didn't put it together at that time. Do you know that ancient Greek is a dead language and none of these people over here speak Greek? I could bring up a whole paragraph and not one of them would understand none of it, nor nor how to pronounce or say any of these things. Give me a break, man the word deity so you're using an english word that's not actually in there is what every person in here speak english stick to what the english text translated from old greek you don't get to change it because it doesn't align with your faith or i think it's saying because mm -hmm. the autotos is the word that's really there so, right? you're, saying that so you're still using words that are not <laughs> why well, i'm gonna take a greek lesson from someone that ain't greek ridiculous man there, I guess is what Corey's trying to say. Correct. So for in, in Jesus dwelleth the fullness of the deity, that's what you're saying? That, yeah, so my, and so how, my, my how, does that, that. how does that make this conversation any difference? Because I don't want to go too deep into to this. You're still not saying like, the, Jesus said, right, the, require, the requirement to be saved is to be born again, right? So you, got, I want you to tell me. We, we, we agree with Marcus Rogers. John 3, 5, Jesus said, unless a man is born of water and spirit, he shall not enter into the kingdom of God. 100% agree how this is a heaven or hell issue my point is Marcus when you say things like I won't I don't want to use the word Trinity or when you make statements like because it's not in the if Trinity is not in the word of God and one God three people in the word of God then guess what you don't get to go by you know why let me show you because I don't care what he telling me about this Greek stuff and all this other nonsense hey man that like that like tomorrow ain't nothing and you bring up this scripture to him to to two corinthians 4 13 if we have in the same spirit of faith according as it is written i believe and therefore i have spoken we also believe and therefore speak see that's the problem with some of y'all y'all just take what a man say and roll with it heck no don't do that that, that'll easily lead you to hell. God said don't put your trust in man. God said to put your trust in God, meaning his word, Jesus. And the word was God. And the word was made flesh. Acts 17, 11. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica and that they received the word with all readiness of mind. So they received the word, right? They listened to him, but they said, wait a minute. And searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so you don't get to tell me something and it ain't in the word of god you don't get to change the word of god to your own meetings come try to do that with me i send these scriptures right to your head you know in these last days men have turned their backs on the word of god teachers and preachers and it was prophesied by god let me show you scripture says 2 timothy 4 3 for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers like Corey Minor, JP, and all these other people that think Radar Apostolic with his hat on, with his little books in the background, shall heap to themselves teachers having itchy ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. And shall be turned into fairy tales, fables. Scripture prophesies about these fools. And yet y'all still follow these people because you want the biblical scholar. He's got to have some kind of smart. He's got to talk right with me. I just don't get it. I'm just, he, he's got to be right because he's talking all this smart Greek and all this other stuff. That's what they practice in the mirror to do, you fools. They try to think that they're smart. You know, they practice more Greek than they practice reading the word of God. That's the problem. That's why I want them in a debate. I want these people. I want to show them where they wrong. I wish you would. 
come down here to the debate table. Just like Jesus debated nonstop. Just like the apostles, when, when, the, when they started not believing and the disciples of Paul, got, uh, uh, he put them in uh, 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 the school of Tyrannus and taught them two years so that they all had the same mind and same judgment. Another scripture just to add on to it. If any man, 1 Peter 4, 11, if any man speak, let him speak the oracles of God, the words of God. If any man minister, let him do it as ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So if they don't speak according to the word of God, don't even listen to them. Y'all are strengthening the hands of the wicked the word trinity or when you make statements like because it's not in the bible show me where jesus told me to use it show me in the bible where they told me to use it marcus you're missing you're missing the point no no you're missing point if you can show me anywhere in the bible where they tell us to argue about this word if you then then you've won the conversation i ain't with marcus rogers i told you he on the way to hell with adultery but he right he right when he when someone's right you gotta just hey listen he right now, I be Marcus Rogers can't control himself. He is a uh, man. He 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 just gets in his flesh a lot. I believe in the Father. I believe in the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit. All these other words. Some man like you or me decided to apply that word, and we got people arguing about it. When what we should be doing is testing the spirit and testing the fruit. I don't want to go too deep in this because to me, what's important is the person born again. Do we see fruit of a transformed life? We can sit here arguing all day about these words, but if we're being honest, it's a man that took that word, created that word, applied it to the Bible, and people say, I want to know if you're a Trinitarian instead of testing the spirit. And then there are people who claim to be Trinitarian who are living foul, getting high, not living right. Mm -hmm. So we can we can use these words and try to define is this person saved or not, but what does Ephesians You know, he's right, but he's a hypocrite because he's living in adultery. He telling people not live right, but yet you're living in adultery. A living adulterer. Say to do to to unify, endeavor to keep the unity of the spirit. So if you can show me where Jesus, where Paul, where anywhere in the Bible, where they said for us to sit here arguing about words that are not in the Bible, fine. Now if we want to talk about what God is, that's why I say I, I would be interested to see what do people believe on this because people in the comments don't even agree some people are saying, no let me just finish let me finish some people are saying we're going to see jesus on the throne some people are saying we're going to see father with jesus at the right hand some people are saying we're going to three three c3 oh no 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 we just went over the scripture the only person you're going to see in heaven is the lord jesus christ that is god not even a person no more it's a spirit so I don't want to hear nobody tell me that Jesus ain't going to be on the throne as we just wit witnessed the judgment seat of Christ. The right hand means the power and authority of God. doesn't mean an actual right hand where there's two gods, fools. Y'all believe them lies because you was taught them lies. Show me how that by man is a heaven or hell issue. Show me how that is a salvation issue. And then and then I'll hear you. But now, right you, now, we're I'll show you where it's a salvation issue. Hold on. Jesus said, I said, therefore, unto you that ye shall die in your sins. For if you believe not that I am he, I am he meant I am God. Ye shall die in your sins. Don't tell me you believe Jesus Christ is God. But when I say, is he father God? No, he's not father God. You don't believe that Jesus Christ is God then. Period. You're an unbeliever. And God said, but the fearful and unbelieving, unbelieving. You are an unbeliever if you can't believe what Christ called himself. You have the antichrist spirit. You was never of Christ. But the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars. So it's definitely a lie. The Trinity shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Anybody that tries to lower the value of Christ being God Almighty is a liar and he's an unbeliever and he has the spirit of the Antichrist working in him. I have no problem calling Jesus Christ my father. That's the one that created me. And to make the men make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world have been hidden God. 
hid it from the Old Testament. We didn't even know who God's name was, who created all things by Jesus Christ. So if Jesus created all things, that means he created you, me, and everything else. That's my father. Period. For unto us a child is born, unto his son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called. Look at Jesus' names. Called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father. Father is uppercase. That is God's name. For he created all things. Yet Jesus Christ's name is called the Everlasting Father. I have no problem calling Jesus Christ my Father. And any Trinitarian or any other man-made religion, because every man-made religion says the same thing, that Jesus Christ is not God the Father, is not God. When we all get to heaven, hopefully all of y'all make it to heaven, but on judgment day, you're going to see the Lord Jesus Christ sitting on the judgment seat, judging you on whether you go to heaven or hell. I would pray to him and stop denying who God is. The salvation issue, for you. but now, right now, we're not, right now we're just disagreeing. No, no that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, Mark. That's what I'm saying. Just, just that's what I'm saying. Some of your arguments or your rebuttals to this issue of the Trinity and certain things, I'm saying you cannot use that as an argument, such as when you say the word trinity is not in the bible well fine even when you use the word godhead that's not in the bible but you use that word and go ahead is in the bible you lying fool also trinity is not in the word of god one god three people is not in the word of god one three personality one god three personalities three in one is not in the word of god it's three are one meaning these three titles are one not three in one if it said three in one it would make them right but it doesn't say that. It says three are one. One God. Fools. I sit here and wonder what happens, what has happened to the teachers. But then I remember we in the end times. And all these people right here are prideful devils. And you try to defend it. My point is, you are a pastor. I don't care what other people in the chat are saying. I'm going to say the top five people. One, two, uh, JP, Marcus, Corey, Radar, and Mike. I need to rephrase that because I don't know them other people. Abednego and David. I don't know these people, but if you're hanging out with JP, guess what? You probably got the same well, spirit as him. One are on the screen. Two aren't pastors. You are a pastor. The calling is higher for you. So, so Corey, so Corey, what is the issue then? I believe in the Father. The I issue is you as a pastor. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe that there's a distinction. Why? Why are we wasting so much time on this? To me, it's like because uh, because Marcus, the, the the central issue for anyone to be a pastor has to be first and foremost the Word of God. Listen, I don't need to believe in the Trinity to be a pastor. All right. Uh, first of all, you're not a pastor if you believe in the Trinity. I want to make that very clear to you. Meaning God hasn't opened up your eyes to see the truth yet. Meaning Jesus hasn't opened up His eyes to show you He's the only true God in heaven. You shouldn't be teaching nothing if you don't even know that. Okay. That's the first step. No, hold on, Corey. What, Corey, let me, let me jump in. I'm sorry. What he's trying to say is what doctrinally is your issue? In other words, point at a doctrinal point that you think that he is not saying. What the is the issue? Do you think that what he, that he doesn't affirm is God being the Father, Son, yeah. and the Holy Spirit? You what is it? What the Holy point? Spirit is a person for you to say I'm saved? I, just, no, listen, I think, I think, I think doctrinally regarding, regarding the Trinity, doctrinally, Marcus is either wrong or confused, and that's a problem necessarily. <laughs> I ain't confused at all about this. For God is not the author of confusion, Corey reminder. Maybe it's you that need to look in the mirror and maybe see, wait a minute, I've been teaching this whole thing, and it's not even in the Word of God what I'm teaching. So I'm basically just teaching something that's a fairy tale. So normally it wouldn't be for just anyone in the chat, but if Marcus is a pastor, then he can't I'm be confused, confused with on those what? things. Marcus, is, Marcus is wondering if, if the Holy Spirit word. is a person. 
Mar- Marcus is wondering if, if the Holy Spirit is a person. Well, he can't. How can a spirit be a person? You fools. A spirit is not a person and never will be. That's a flawed statement right there. And he's a teacher. I got my air quotes up. I wonder that that those are the things that you should have already had nailed down before you decide to step. Right, but forward. based off, but based off what in the Bible, like the Holy Spirit is God's spirit. Do we all agree on that? Or no? Is he God? Is he also God? Yes, it's God's spirit. Just like if my spirit. See, see how they make Holy Spirit as another God. It's another God. So there's three gods. They don't really particularly like saying that. But it's one God, three people, which is a clear contradiction statement. There's no such thing as a one God, three people in the word of God. If there's one God, there can't be three people. What a bunch of nonsense. And we allow these people to teach us lies like this. It left my body. It's still me. Okay, no, 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 no. But we're, we're saying, we're, I'm sorry. Here's the thing. Here's the disagreement, Marcus. What it appears the disagreement is. Corey is saying in Radar that the Holy Spirit is distinct from the Father in personhood. See what they're telling you? They're telling you that the Holy Spirit is distinct from the Father and Jesus Christ. Meaning there's three different people. If we have three different people in my house, well guess what? We got three different people. We don't have one. You understand? It's a bunch of nonsense. Marcus is saying that the Father and Holy Spirit are one person. So no. it's <laughs> when you say the Father and the Holy Spirit are one person, you are blaspheming God because God is not a person. God is a spirit. Let me show you. These are what these amateurs debate and chase them around. So since they are cowards and not willing to debate and run from me, well, guess what Kurt going to do? Kurt going to make videos on them. To expose every single lie they tell. God is a spirit. Scripture even says that God is not a man. Let me show you this. Numbers 23, 19. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken and shall he not make it good? God is not a man. Period. Hosea 11 9 I will ex not execute fearness of my anger I will not return to destroy Ephraim for I am God and not a man well Kurt you say Jesus Christ is God <laughs> yeah and if he's God he's a spirit just because he manifested in flesh to show us how to live and to die for our sins we not saying that flesh and blood is God what we are saying is what lived in Jesus was God these are simple things that these young men have no, like I said, come tell me those lies. To wit that God was in Christ. The invisible father was in Christ. The invisible spirit of God was in Christ, which is omnipresent, can be in heaven and earth and in Jesus at the same time, can be in your house and my house at any time. But in order to see God, you got to go through Christ. Reconciling the world unto himself. Unto himself. Aim that the Father and Holy Spirit are one person. So is that going to send Marcus Rodgers? There's no scripture on this planet that say God is a person. I wouldn't say I'm saying it's one person. I don't think you say that either. It's, I'm just saying it's it's. The only argument that I hear is well, I not one person you're trying to tell me, Marcus. No. Yeah, I think there's but I think we gotta I, stop I, trying to pigeonhole him too. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit, in your spirit, and truth. We just went over that. What are they talking about person? These are men thinking logically as men. Using their ideology and their own thinking instead of letting God direct their every path. So they're trying to use their own understanding to understand scriptures that are spirit and they are life. These are things that only the Holy Ghost can teach you. And none of these people are called to understand none of this. None of this. It's still... The only argument that I hear is... Well, I not one person you're trying to tell me, Marcus. 
No. Yeah, I think that, but I think we got to stop trying to pigeonhole him to a term that he doesn't want to use. If my spirit leaves my body, it's still me. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. It's just God's spirit in us. I don't understand what Jesus come forth from the Father as well, and you don't believe that the Father is Right, so Trinity. You're talking about flesh came from the Father. Scripture says that God prepared this body for Jesus to jump in. I commend Rod, uh, Marcus Rogers on getting better at the word of God, but you're going to go to hell, man, if you don't get rid of that divorce and remarriage. You're going to go for adultery. Get rid of your the third or fourth wife you got and go back to your first one, the one that you said death do us part to. These people to the left don't know what the hell they're talking about. I mean, to me, it's comical that these people are even preaching or even talking the word of God because they're in very much danger. God said, let there not be men or teachers among you. You know why? Because not everyone called to discern the word of God. In fact, it's a gift from God and not many have it. Parents disagree on that. What does it mean when Jesus is in the bosom of the father? I've heard different, they don't even agree on what that means. Yeah, so when- Meaning that Jesus is in the bosom of the father. Jesus said, I am my father, uh, I am in the father and the father's in me. Meaning they're one. That spirit is in the image in the body of, of, of the invisible God. It ain't that hard to understand. You got to have the Holy Spirit to understand it. These you people are not going to be able to explain that to you. Or even understand what you're saying. For an eternity, that means that he... Oh, so we know that Jesus always existed, but he proceeded forth from the Father. If he always existed, why you got three people? So he's of the same essence as the Father. That's not, what, that's not what Ray... He's at the same essence. Find that scripture. Find that scripture that Jesus is the essence of God. What does that mean? What are you talking about? Jesus is just the image in the body of the invincible God that lives and dwells in him that works the body and image, whether it's a flesh and blood body or whether it's a spiritual body. Raider said, said he believes there's three people Three persons. Yeah. That's no, 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 I'm not talking about Find that. Three persons. You chase a Trinitarian around and you say, find me where it says one God, three persons. In fact, it's these these are supposed to be educated biblical scholars, right? But they don't even know that the plural version of person is people. So it's actually when you put them in three, it's three people. The Trinity is the state of being three. There's three things here. What are you talking about? Three. I only read there's only one God. So I'm not talking about the perception of how we're going to see. Okay, so Marcus, let's nail this down. Look. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Father, Don't scroll past that because you just said something different than what he said. He said there's there's three. You just admitted yes, it. I said that. It, yes. He came, out, he came out of the bosom. Yes. Of three what? Chase him around. Three what? Three gods? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Three gods? Three what? Yes, I, so I what, believe what, that the, what does that mean? Clarify. Yes, so I believe that the Son and the Holy Spirit proceeded from the Father. <laughs> Ain't no holy scripture on this planet that gonna say what he just said right there. In fact, let's just listen to that stupid stupid word right there. Uh, let's let's see. I'm not saying he's stupid. Just saying that what he just said was stupid. He said there's there's three. You just admitted yes, it. I said that. And, and, and he didn't get that from the word of God. He got that from a man. Man said that. Yes. He came out, he came out of the bosom. Yes, of the yes. I, so I what, believe what, that does, the, what does that mean? Clarify. Yes, I believe that the Son and the Holy Spirit proceeded from the Father. <laughs> I mean, I'm sitting there. It's, it's, it's not funny, but it is funny. Are you telling me that the Father and the Holy Spirit are not the same? God is holy, right? Is he not a spirit? Holy spirit. These are simplest of things that any man with the Holy Spirit, and these people are trying to teach you. Trying to teach you. That's what I believe. Correct. Right. But the difference is, because I agree with Radar, because what I'm saying is, is that the father. And Marcus Rogers agree with him so that he would shut up. Can you imagine that? Son and Holy Spirit are distinct persons from one another. No scripture on this planet going to say what he just said. The Holy Spirit, the Father, and the Son are three distinct people from one another. 
That's three guards if you add them up. One plus one plus one. We're telling you that Jesus Christ is God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost is the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. One times one times one equals one. Foolishness, man. The Holy Spirit is not the Father. The Father is not the Son. Can you imagine how blasphemy that is? The Holy Spirit is not the Father. Amazing. These people are going to burn in hell. God said, be ye holy, for I am holy. If God is holy, and God is a spirit, he's not the Holy Spirit. That's crazy to me. That is insane. And y'all believe this mess. That's the sad part. We're going to get a lot of fools on here that's going to say, Man, you wrong and all this other stuff. And yet we show him where God is holy and he is a spirit, making him the Holy Spirit. There ain't no scripture on this page that's going to say God is not the Holy Spirit or Jesus is not the Holy Spirit or the Father is not the Holy Spirit. That's insane. That's a made-up lie, a fairy tale, y'all.